it seems a little manipulative to have the Svengali behind it all. You know what I mean? So uh, I yeah, it does. <laughs> but you could find examples, maybe not a whole genre of musical artists created just to be pretty looking boy bands and make money. But you have examples of that all over. I, me and Colin were just talking about this. Parliament Funkadelic, a great funk band that was very influential of the 70s, George Clinton. That man was a producer. He put the band together to make money and have a have a sound that would bring in money. The same with the, the Combat Rock album. Was it The Clash? Or uh, like London Calling and Combat Rock? Yeah, yes, okay. or, I think exactly. they, I, I, I could be wrong on that, but they're one of those punkish bands. They were just sitting around. So what type of band can we put together that'll make us a lot of money? And that right. I, I, I'll have to look that the up. Sex Pistols. The Sex, sex Pistols. pistols exactly. Yes, yes, that's right. it. That, that, sex that pistols. Malcolm McLaren, who I mentioned a while back, he's the guy that had put together. We're going to have this be just as rebellious and as the formula for what we'll sell to kids of a certain range because. Like the God save the queen version that isn't yes. really respectful. That's what England needed at the point. Exactly. Yeah. And okay. I've heard stories of Nirvana, not that some big producer put them together to be that way, but the band had their stage image and then their offstage image because Kurt Cobain was that emo, gothic, kind of grungy like, figurehead. Over the eyes. Looking yeah. Down, exactly. You know, okay. but from several interviews I've heard of other people, when he was backstage, he was light, happy, joked around, had a good time.